Dirk Verburen, Bearded.tv, the drummer's website. Thank you very much for taking time to talk to us. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you. And the first thing I think everybody asks you <laughs> is how life has changed, you know, <laughs> in the last two years. Yes. But uh, we'd be interested in how your approach to drumming has changed over the last two years. Hmm. Great question. Um, well, you know, I mean, obviously I've been playing for quite a few years and so um, I kind of have my my points of reference, which don't necessarily change that much at this point. I'm always looking for new influences and new things. In the case of Megadeth, um, you know, it's it's the interesting, the most interesting thing drumming wise, I would say, is the input of the different drummers that have been a part of the band over the years. And um, in my case, this has mostly been focused or, or entirely been focused on Gar Samuelson, Nick Menza and Chris Adler, which are, you know, the eras of the songs that we've played so far yeah. are all yeah. from these eras. And so, of course, uh, I was, you know, familiar with all three of the drummers before, but it's a whole different thing when you go into the detail. Mm -hmm. And so this has definitely um, informed um, kind of a fresh approach for me, uh, you know, trying to do justice to their parts as well as to the songs and at the same time being me. Yeah. And that was... Uh, sure. That's sometimes tricky and challenging mm -hmm. and, and a continuous learning process. Yeah, yeah. True. Has that influenced your kit, the configuration and things? Slightly, yes. I've, I've added a 10 inch tom. Mm -hmm. um, I've taken away some smaller symbols which don't really have use in making that. So, um, you know, I use, usually play, and now actually tonight on the clinic I have splashes and a bell and stuff, uh, which I tend to use normally, but with Megadeth it's more crashes, uh, less of the small stuff. Um, that's it. You know, and then I, I had been playing with two kick drums for a couple of years or a year and a half before uh, I joined Megadeth, so I was already prepared for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. How would you say the stuff that you do with Megadeth uh, relates to your previous musical experiences? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I had all the time I had all these years to kind of get ready for this gig because I think um, when you join a band or when you you know when you kind of change teams in a way um, it's not only about the drums it's a lot about how you fit in yeah. and so this is uh, something that maybe 10 years ago I wouldn't have felt as prepared for and I might have made some mistakes or you know felt uncomfortable or whatever uh, now, luckily, because I've had all these years being on the road, you know, touring with Solaric for 12 years, working pretty hard with the band, and also other experiences, drum clinics, um, all these different things that I've done over the years, session work, you know, this has all kind of prepared me and made me ready to, to join this, this band, which is, you know, obviously a legendary band, but also a band where the level of everything is, is up quite a bit. And so my goal was really from the beginning to, you know, I told Dave Mustaine, I said, from now on, you will not have to worry about drums, you know. That was one of the things I told him early on. I said, the drums are going to be taken care of. They're going to be the way you want them. Don't worry. And so this is my goal, you know, like I come in, the drums are taken care of. And other than that, I, I, I act as professional as I can. Oh, yeah. That's actually a great way to just walk in, you know. That's the way <laughs> it should always be. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. sometimes isn't, right? So, exactly, exactly. I mean, you know, it's not always... It's called the first point. Yeah, yeah, it's not always easy. But for me, it was like, if, if I do a gig, and I've always kind of had this mentality, but maybe I'm more aware of it now, you yeah. know, that I'm a little bit older. If I'm going to do a gig, I'm going to do it 100%. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, you're also a teacher, educator. You've been doing that like 20 years or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's a slightly different experience for a drummer. I mean, you know, uh, again, has being in Megadeth influenced that part of your professional life? Yes, I've had more time to focus on it because, um, you know, with, with soil work, especially in the, my later years in the band, I was very involved with the band business. And so there was a lot of time going into taking care of that. And um, with Megadeth, obviously, all this is taken care of. They have a, a big team of, of people, you know, and so um, hardworking people. And so it allows me to focus more on what I do. So I've been able to focus more on my lessons, more on my students, kind of build that up. 
and I currently have a really nice, you know, um, I'll say pack of, <laughs> of drum students who are just all individually amazing. They teach me a lot, you know, they teach me how to transmit my knowledge and they inspire me to keep doing so. And yeah. it's a really nice, you know, I really enjoy teaching. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great. Okay. Best of luck with all the plans. Thank you. Thanks a lot again for taking time to talk to us. My pleasure. I hope to see you sometime soon. Yes, for sure. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>